You know, in China, the chicken is about one fourth of the size. <laughs> and I mean, in America, uh, we need things, huge buildings, huge plates, uh, a huge chicken. <laughs> okay? I just came back from China, because I have a culinary school and a, a restaurant in China. And all opening up in uh, Beijing, too. And during the Olympic, I was in Beijing looking for a location to open a restaurant, because I was working for NBC. Uh, chef, do me a favor, chef. Let's get the, the leaf out and put it over here. Uh, these are the Thai basil, okay? Thai basil. And uh, how can you tell a Thai basil? Uh, a Thai basil is uh, purple. When you go to a Vietnamese uh, a noodle house, you eat Thai basil. When you eat uh, the pho, the, uh, the, the Vietnamese noodle, this is the, the basil they use. And I want you to pass around and smell it a little bit. Pass around and crush this a little bit and smell it. It's, it's called the sweet Thai basil, okay? So we're going to use this chicken. I want to show you how we're going to bone this up. Normally, in a normal chicken, not a turkey, I can do it in 18 seconds. <laughs> this one, we'll hopefully can do it in 20 seconds. Okay? okay? Now, let me show you Everybody in the dining room, pay attention, okay? <laughs> Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, is this on? Am I, am I on? Yeah. 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 yeah, I am on. Yes. Hello. Yes. <laughs> I'm about to show you, uh, you have things that you have never seen before. How to bone a nervous chicken. Okay? You can tell a chicken. Anybody speak Cantonese or Mandarin here? Anybody speak Mandarin? Hey. Cantonese? All Mandarin, okay? <laughs> In Cantonese, there's, a chick, there's an expression, Seikai Chang'an girl. Means when a chicken is dead, it, it looks like this. It's a dead, nervous chicken. <laughs> when a chicken is nervous, you cannot cut through it. Okay? You cannot cut through it. So that means what you have to do is you really have to relax your chicken. <laughs> okay? <laughs> You have never seen this on a food network, okay? <laughs> how do you relax a nervous chicken? This is how you do it. Three fingers. <laughs> Loosen up the joint. You go up and down. Don't laugh, okay? Don't laugh. <laughs> this is serious. You hold this up and down, up and down. You go, you go up and down. Don't waste time to go horizontal move. <laughs> no wasting time. Only up and down and then circular motion. <laughs> circular motion. This is ancient Chinese technique. Um, and then you wing it. <laughs> and then you hold it this and you go like that. <laughs> and then the chicken is totally relaxed. Okay? It is so relaxed. Let me show you. See that? Huh? It is relaxed. Now, pay attention. 20 to 22 seconds max. Okay? I can do it and you cannot. <laughs> because you don't have one of these. Now pay attention. Don't, don't blink. <coughs> I can do it. And Chef Kurt can do it because Chef Kurt has been practicing this at home last night with 55 chickens. <laughs> Three, two, two and a half, <laughs> and one. One cut, another cut, turn around, one cut, around the back, hold this, hold it, and then put it this jump, and I'll push this, a whole chicken breast comes out like that, the bird comes out, and the tip chicken burger, turn it comes out like that, and then turn it around, turn it to the other side, and this jump, chicken breast comes out, and the priest comes out like that, and the priest comes out, and like that, last of the internet has run, like that, it's done. How many seconds? 23. 23 seconds, what the heck? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this, when you have to bite it, bonus skin of chicken breast, four ninety nine. But you can buy a whole chicken for one oh nine. Look how fast you can remove the chicken breast. One, two, and a, oh, look, three. Four ninety five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me show you another thing that everybody slow motion. Okay. One, two, and three. Four ninety five. <laughs> and then I want to show you how to make a drumstick. Everybody know how to make a drumstick out of these. No big deal. Don't know how to do it? Get my book. 
For those people who are more fortunate, <laughs> buy my book. <laughs> and I will show you, now I have skinless, boneless, fatless chicken, 4 95 Okay? Now, Chuck is encouraging more and more people excited. Yes. Now, I will show you how to make a drumstick out of these. Pay attention. The Thai people do that all the time. You see this? This is the John right here. And right next to the John, one little cut, one little cut right next to the John. I hold onto this and I push this and boom, boom, come out. Both bone come out, see? And then I remove the smaller piece of bone and <coughs> like that. And then I remove the wing tip <coughs> like that and I have a drumstick. <laughs> <laughs> Beijing. I am going to Beijing and Singapore and Shanghai in four days. Mm -hmm. uh, our show is broadcast in the uh, Asian Food Network in Singapore. And I'm going to Beijing to open a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then let me show you. And I'm going to Shanghai. I'm going to Chenghuang Miao. Now let me show you how to feed. 400 people with this piece of chicken. <laughs> okay? With this knife, you butterfly this. Butterfly the chicken. Butterfly. And now, you can make it twice as big. And then, you use this knife, you tenderize the meat. And then, you can cut it in half. And what? And then you can cut it in half again. The more people the more you cut tenderize and then you cut it in half and then you cut one and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six and a seven and an eight then we're going to put this right here um, let's get uh, a stainless uh, a glass bowl now look at this I'm going to cut this into smaller pieces thank you chef <coughs> now look at this this is why you don't see and you don't have to worry about diet this is how they do in China. You cut into things this thing. And then, let me tell you, let me tell you, why should anybody in China worry about diet when you're eating things like this? You can never <laughs> gain weight. <laughs> Not only you can never gain weight, you probably lose weight. Not only you lose weight, you continue to eat something like that you probably stop to death. <laughs> in China, when you have more people, all you have to do is cut it in half. <laughs> something like this. <laughs> okay? This is how they put it. This, you know, Chinese chef, they cut everything in very thin slices. They can milk mushu pork, ham and sour soup, everything is shredded. And this is how they do it, okay? And then I'm going to cut this up. And one, two, three, four. Set aside, I put it right here. And then I cut, and I cut, and I go, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I put it right over here. And then since we are talking about two <coughs> dishes, and I'm going to cut it in half, and I tenderize this, and then I go, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, five. I used to say that to do everything. Now, I'm quite sure many of you know my good friend Jacques Pepin, lives in, uh, not too far away from here. <laughs> And Jack has uh, done demonstration here three, three, three times. And I have been begging these people to <laughs> let, begging Chef Kurt to let me come over here for three years. I finally make it again. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you how to transfer food again. You put it right here. Right here. Okay. And then let me show you how to marinate the meat and we're going to cook. Okay. So some of you always remember to watch.